Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video project in Practical Sheets. Today we continue our series in workout loggers. So we've been advancing and doing a really nice input form to be able to log the, our progress in a particular exercise, know what was our last log and much more things. Today we're going to continue this project that I have left abandon about a year. So what I want to add today is to add a category. It could be whatever you want, depending on the type of exercise you do. You could separate it by part of the body. You could uh, classify it by if it's a push exercise, a pull exercise, depending on your specific area, you may have other categories. It doesn't matter. The idea that matters is that we could classify them and it would be much easier instead of having to bring as we did before exercise by exercise then you say okay today i'm going to do legs so i choose legs and it brings my main leg exercises and then i could go very easily very quickly to do that no today i'm going to do abs so it brings all my ab related exercise or whatever again it depends on your category then you group i'll teach you how to group them and then how to modify a bit this so that it will be very easy for you to tell your students, to tell your, if you're coaching or for yourself to have a group of exercises that will be done depending on a specific category. Okay. So I hope you like it. But before we start, I invite you to subscribe to the channel where you'll have a new Google Sheet video each week. And if you want to go further, You'll find in the description the link to my academy, practicalsheets.com, where you'll find in-depth courses about all of the subjects we cover uh, during these videos. So I hope you'll visit it, but if not, let's continue with our video. So let's begin. These are some of the comments that I've had for the past videos. It would be nice if we could have categories. It depends on the kind of exercises you do. We could have arm day, leg day. We could have push exercises, pull exercises, uh, it all depends. So you could group them in the categories you want. And then here in my input form, I could select the, the category and it would bring automatically the, let's say a suggested group of exercises. And then I could delete one or change one or add one. But it would be nice if, for example, I say, well, today I want to do legs. So I don't have to choose each exercise separately, but I could choose here in my category leg day and it would bring it. Okay. So let's do that first here in my list. I think it will be easy to just add the category here. So how could I do it? There are a couple of ways for now. I could add a category here and let's say I have push exercises and pull exercises. And then I have a uh, other, I don't know. Okay. Now here, I'm also going to have a category, but this will be a drop down. data, data validation. I'm going to do this from a range and I'm going to select all this. I'm going to leave space to have further categories in the future. Let's hit. Okay. Let's reject. Let's save. Okay. And now I can drag this down, control shift down and control D to have my validation everywhere. And then I could add it to the ones I want. Actually, I'm going to change it. This will not be push and pull, but maybe arms and chest, and this will be legs and, and abs. And this will be other or core. I don't know. You know better than me. Okay. So I have whichever category you want that let's put one of the other one in other. Let's put this in other, for example, just for the example. Okay. Now let's go to our input form and I'm going to put here a category and let's bring our categories with a data validation, the same I did before. So given that is the same, 
So let's go data validation, list from a range. Let's go to my lists and select this one again. Okay, reject and that's it, perfect. Go to input form and here I could select the category. So there are two ways of doing this. The first one is to do a unique or a query or a filter. I could do a filter function where I'm going to filter my exercises here in the list. I would filter all of these exercises. So let's go to A so that I can put as many exercises as I want in the future and how I'm going to filter them with the B column. So it should be B2 up until B also. Let's leave open the row. When this is equal to a specific category and the specific category will be given by my dropdown that I have here, this one. So let's close it. And I could delete all of this. You remember that we, we had um, th this error that we couldn't remove last time or well, we could we could do it later so this is all there but let's do arms and chest okay so now it works nice but the problem with this is that what happens if i want to change one of these given that this is formulated then it's not so flexible but, but this is a an a first good approach so for now what I'm going to do is maybe this is too much. This is too big a list of exercises. So we could categorize it a bit more. I'm going to separate arms and chest. Maybe back, whatever. Okay. So now it looks, it looks nice because it's not a lot of exercises. So this is step one. This is a nice first approach, but again, it's not so flexible. So I will leave it for next uh, video because we, we would have to do some script. So I don't want to fill you out with scripts that may confuse you, but if you like, just send me a note in the comments and we could do it in the next one. And is that, for example, I like this as a base so that with one click, I could bring my main leg exercises, but then I could add some more or change these or, but if I delete this, for example, it doesn't do anything. So it does work when I want to bring new exercises. The problem is that if I change my category, then it will have an error because I have this fixed as a data, okay? So this works if you already have a preset set of exercises and you always want to do the same four or five exercises with arms, three or four exercises with legs and four or whichever category you use. So this works well as a first example. And actually I could remove my data validation, click right click, view more selections, I'm going to go to data validation, remove my data validation. I don't need it anymore because I just bring it up with this dropdown. So I'm going to fix. You remember we did this complex formula that we weren't able to, to remove this error. Okay. So we could, I'm, I'm going to do it a different way. Bring the, remember that what we did here was to bring the last date where this exercise appears. Okay, so I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going to do a VLOOKUP, a very simple VLOOKUP. So I'm going to VLOOKUP. I'm going to look for this exercise. Let's go to our data. I'm going to look it here. Just here and bring the date. That's it. Let's fix with a zero. And I'm ready. Okay. But this doesn't work because I want to bring the last date. So for the last date, 
there are a couple of things I could do. The easiest one being that I'm going to first take this data, order it by the date. You, you remember that VLOOKUP looks for the first instance of a data. Or So what I want to do is to order this by so that I'm sure that the last date is first. Yes, how do I do this? With the sort function that we already saw in the last video. I'm going to say sort and I'm going to take this one I have here, data A, B. So again, sort data A, B, but I'm going to tell it what is the sort column. Given that I'm going to sort it by date and date is column B, so I'm going to say sort by column two. And finally, let's say if it's ascending or not. Given that it's not ascending, it's false that it's ascending. So let's give it a one. That's it. Let's close. Let's wait a bit. Let's delete all of this. Okay, so now I have it here. I've ordered my data from most recent date to most old date. And now I can do my VLOOKUP easily. So the only thing I need to do is to copy this and put it instead. Instead of this. That's it. And it should work. And then I don't need all of that crazy formula we did before. Sorry for that. Just make sure that you have this as an absolute reference. And I could go one step further and is I could drag it down. And now I could do the if error that, that we tried to do last time. Let's put this all in caps just for our sake of mind. And here I'm going to put an if error. Again, all in caps, if error. If this is error, then just leave it blank. I could drag down. And that's it. It looks good. So now if I select any of these, it looks much nicer because I don't see that error present. But here, the, the only problem here is that I'm just showing the date and I don't want to show just the date, but the weight is one, is two, is three, is four, all of that. So I need to do it from A to H or to I. To I. So I'm just changing this to I. It will still work because this says that I'm still looking, I'm ordering by the column two, that is the date. That is what interests me. Let's hit enter. And the last thing I'm missing is that here, I need to put in my VLOOKUP that I want to see all of these rows, number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'm going to put this inside brackets and with a comma, I'm going to say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I close. And I'm missing one thing and is that I have to close it in an array formula. So I was wrong. I told you that the last function was crazy. Well, this is another type of crazy. So, so whichever crazy you prefer, but again, you are uh, learning pretty advanced Google Sheets and for Google Sheets formulas. Okay. So now it works. If I drag it down, it will continue to work nicely. And let's drag it down a bit more. And I'm going to delete this rows down because normally I'm not going to have more than five or eight exercises. So we could leave it as it is, maybe delete a bit more here so that it looks nicer and that it fits in one screen. So this is it. Actually, I was hoping to do more today, but I think this is enough for now. So we just added a category to make it easier to bring all the exercises grouped by whatever I want. Okay. So that was it. Please. You've been so kind with your comments. So just let me know how may we continue with this series. 
I know it's not that popular, it's, just, it's very niche, but it's uh, for me, it's a nice challenge and hopefully for you in your field is useful. So I hope you liked it. And if you like it, please consider subscribing, hitting the notify button. And if you want to go deeper in these sheets and script, I know it's a bit addictive. So if you want to uh, apply this to other kind of areas in your life or your work, so you can go to practicalsheets.com where not only you'll find all the templates for the videos in YouTube, but exclusive courses and more. Thank you so much. See you next time.